G'day there. In my last video, I promised to show you how I protect brassica plants from damage by cabbage white butterfly caterpillars. It really works. Unlike the plastic white butterfly mimics we talked about last time. Welcome to One Minute Bugs. I'm Dennis Crawford. There's heaps of cabbage white butterflies around at the moment in Victoria. I'll talk about why that is later on in this video. Meanwhile, here are the seedlings I mentioned at the end of the last video. These are broccoli seedlings. As you can see, they are partly covered by cut-off plastic milk bottles. I did this just to protect them from birds until I had time to create this video. The plastic bottles didn't stop cabbage white butterfly females laying eggs all over the seedlings. So I'll have to squish all these eggs before I do anything else. Perhaps we should speed that up a bit? How can we protect our brassica plants without resorting to insecticides or trying things that don't work, like plastic butterfly mimics? I guess the thumbnail kind of gave it away a bit. You guessed it, nets. Let's cover those broccoli seedlings with some bird netting stretched over a makeshift frame. And when he's finished, let's ask the gardener if the nets will protect his plants from cabbage white butterflies. What about plastic white butterfly mimics? Tell us what you really think, Dennis. I will have missed a few eggs during that squish fest earlier, so every now and then I'll lift those nets up um, just to check plants for caterpillars and I'll squish those. Standard bird netting works. The wildlife friendly variety of course, with a mesh of about 5 millimeters or less. There are other nets available, such as veggie net which has a mesh of about 2 millimeters, so that'll stop really quite small um, insects getting through. But in this case, um, bird netting is enough, it'll certainly stop cabbage white butterflies getting through to the plants and laying their eggs on them. But why are there so many butterflies this year? In Victoria, well in most regions of Victoria anyway, we had above average spring rainfall. And lots of rain means lots of growth among the things that cabbage white butterfly caterpillars will eat, such as brassica vegetables and brassica weeds and canola crops and forage brassicas. That means lots of food for the spring generations of caterpillars. The butterflies we are seeing now in summer are the result of the spring generations. In large outbreaks, it takes time for predators and parasites to catch up with the pest insects. I only found a single pupa from a wasp parasite in the brassicas from last time. The good bugs will eventually catch up, but meanwhile, your brassicas might be eaten to the ground. If you net your plants, that won't happen. And if you net your plants, you won't be adding to the cabbage white butterfly outbreak. And on that point of not adding to the problem, those brassicas from last time, I let them grow on for another couple of weeks so that I could get some specky damage shots. I mean, the plants were just almost completely shredded. But after I took all my photos and little videos, I pulled them out, munched them up, shoved them in a sealed compost bin. That's so that all those hundreds of huge caterpillars weren't going to pupate and become egg-laying adult butterflies. So nets are a tried and true way of protecting plants. Once you get the nets set up properly, you can pretty much forget about caterpillars. The other tried and true method of protecting brassicas from insect damage is to grow your plants over the cooler months when insects aren't active. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and why not subscribe while you're there? Coming up in the next video. Yep, you're almost ready to click off then, weren't you? Coming up in the next video, an insect that doesn't look like an insect, but is it a pest? Or maybe I've been a bit too cryptic. Thanks for watching.